Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my first time doing like a talking kind of video. My previous videos um, were really old and I never talked in them. So this is my first time doing something in a long time. But I just wanted to share this haul with everyone. And these are like things that I've accumulated since Thanksgiving. So um, some are non-album items such as like photo card sleeves and like um, binder sleeves so let's get started i got all of the possible albums there are out there um for dreams winter album i did just get one of each um but if you do follow me on tiktok here's my tiktok right here um you'll know that i usually buy multiple copies of dreams albums specifically the digi packs um i like to collect all seven of them if possible but with this um with this comeback um i figured i'd be a little bit more smart and not spend so much uh, plus it's the holidays so there's a lot of things that um i needed to save up for so i just went went with one of each um one album each and i do collect mark for dream um occasionally i'll collect um jeno or Timin. so but this time around i decided not to um and for this one i did get um i did get jeno's um s mini album but this is for my friend so i'm not gonna open it okay so i'll start with the s mini um i kind of don't want to ruin it so hopefully i know how to open it oh it's stapled it took a minute but i finally got it to open um so i'm pretty sure this comes with a photo card um, but I think this is just so cute, this little clip. While I do think it's uh, ridiculously unnecessary that SM has all of these like different versions, I actually really like these like cute clips. So I don't know how they work and I am not even going to attempt to open it right now, but okay. I'm assuming it comes with a random photo card. Ah! Oh, is there another random photo card? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was a random photo card. And then there's just the um, QR code for the, I guess, to listen to the album. So um, I thought it would be like a random photo card, but I'm guessing like whoever um, S mini clip that you get is the member photo card that you'll get, which is great. Okay, then I will do the special album, which is so cute. It's like a little cereal box. One thing with SM that I've learned is that it's either they will go all out with designing and packaging or they go the complete opposite route, which is they go a very minimalist <laughs> kind of no effort route. Um, but with Dream so far, I feel like they've done an amazing job with designs. How it looks it has like a matte cover which is awesome i really like this i think this is so cute all right oh my gosh i did not know it's a tin can wait this is so cute and that you can actually use it it's actually you know actually functional i guess it's actually useful. That's the word I was trying to get. Ah, these are so cute. 
Is this a little album? Oh my gosh. Hold on. This is so cute. It's a little CD. <laughs> oh my goodness. So how do you play it? Will it play on a like a regular CD player? I actually don't know. And then here's CD2. It's so cute. Like, I love this idea. <gasps> okay, I already saw it. It's Mark. Okay. Oh my gosh. And then the little ornament is... I got Jimin. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, stop. It's... Everything is so mini. Literally, oh my gosh. They took it seriously. It's a mini album, literally. This is so cute. Actually, I think the, the special album, this one, is more expensive than the photo book, which makes sense there's like a lot more stuff plus there's like this tin can but i actually wouldn't mind purchasing another one hopefully like if my store i usually buy my albums at my local k-pop store but if they happen to still have these later on and they do a sale i'm definitely getting another one because it's so cute and I wonder if like the tin cases, if they come in like different colors. Oh, I like this. This is so cute. I'm obsessed with like this mini photo book. cute that is so cute and then what are these oh they have like their little message cards okay wait hold on so there's um like a full like photos it has all of them oh that is so cool so it has like all of the tracks and the credits so one thing i do like about or like one thing i always do whenever i get a new album is i always look at the original title of each of these songs um so obviously candy is uh, a remake of the song from hot so i wonder if this one will say okay yeah so Candy is candy. And then graduation, original title is graduation. Tangerine love favorite, original title is favorite. And it's kind of funny because the first time I saw that, I was like, wait, I feel like that 
this title is familiar, but I think I was associating it with um, NCT 127's um, favorite because in parentheses it says vampire, but I was thinking it was the opposite. So anyway. And then Take My Breath. Oh my God. Original title is R.I.P. to my grave. What? Moon is Moon, which is um, door in Korean. So that was the original title. And then Walk With You is Crush. Makes sense. Yeah. And then they have these photos, little photos. Oh, it's a postcard. That is so cute. And then these ones are like their messages to the fans. Mark. He said from Full Sun. Cute. I'm actually surprised like they did not put these in order. Usually like these kinds of cards are like in order, like age order. So that's interesting. And then there's just, oh, it's like padding. So next is the Digipack. So again, I only got Mark's cover. Um, normally I would do OT7, but for the mini album, I decided not to. And then do we get a random member poster? Oh, we do. Oh, well, not random member. It's him. It's Mark. And then... Oh, I just love the little cute characters. And this one. Okay, it fell out. Okay, so let's see. <gasps> Chanla! Okay, and then they got their coupons, which I never get to use. I love like the little funky color schemes, like I'm all about it. So yeah, that is the Digipack. Digi Digipacks I feel like are a little bit anticlimactic just because there's not much to it besides like the little booklet and the photo card um so there's not much to say about it usually and then last for NCT Dream is the photo book there it is also sorry for like the annoying like ring light reflection it's like it's really dark in my room so like I try to use as much light as possible so try to ignore the little reflection there also I really appreciate how they already added on the sticker usually they put the sticker on the plastic which then I have to peel off and then figure out like where would they put it so I'm glad they put the sticker on for us okay so I'm gonna remove the inclusions for now So 
I don't want to accidentally like see it. Oh, I got Mark. I saw it. I think I got Chan Lagan, but let me see. Is it Chan La? It's Chan La. Another thing is that whenever I um, like unbox like my albums, there's always, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone can relate to this, but there's always like a member that you pull the most for whatever reason. And Chun La is actually the one that I pull the most, if not Ji Sung. Um, and for, I think the photo book, my store was also giving out the um, pre-order benefits. And I also happen to get Chun La. So he is the one that I pull the most and Ji Sung. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, and then these are like the pictures. These I'm guessing are like the same as the digipack, like the pictures that you would see in the digipack because this was like the first picture I saw. So cute. And then they have... Oh, wow, interesting. So instead of including like the lyrics inside the album, they had it as a poster, which I actually, I actually like because all of the colors just pop out. Oh, and then the CD. Oh, cute. They look like little stickers. So I'm not normally a fan of like, um, how would I describe this concept? Like bubbly kind of concepts, but I feel like they always, NCT Dream always pulls it off. So they are the exception in my opinion. <laughs> I do wish just a little bit like now that I'm looking at these photos so they have a lot of like these like plain backgrounds I wish they would have added like you know a little graphics kind of like what they did with, with this one you know like they had little I mean it's them too but I don't know Like this, like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, this is like fun. Like I'm imagining like maybe like with him, kind of kind of like collage style, like have, have like more pictures of Jeno or something. I think they did that with um, glitch mode. Both, both versions of the photo book, I, really 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 liked the way everything was like styled or like how everything was like cut and put together on the album um the graphics and the way that pictures were like put together I had a whole like rant about it on I think I did an unboxing for it. I don't know if I up ended up uploading it or if I just did a snippet on TikTok but I was obsessed with it like these are cute because they look like stickers. 
because I think when the pictures are more plain, which I understand could be like an artistic decision, sometimes it can feel a little bit more um, like magazine pictorials kind of thing. So yeah, unless they're like on a set, then it feels less like a magazine. But like these ones with a plain background, those kind of feel like I'm reading a magazine. See, like stuff like that, like that's cute. And I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but my favorite song from this album is probably Moon. I really like Moon. It's still throwing me off how like they are not going by like age order. Like everything is like out of order. Oh, this is cute. So I have these ones. So this one, I have been falling way behind on um, my BTS photo card collection or just like my BTS collection in general. Um, it's just, there was a point where it got like too overwhelming where there was just like, a, it seemed like a release of like DVDs or like photo books like everywhere. So that got too much for me for like a second. So I kind of took a step back and um, didn't collect for a while, but I felt like I needed to start slowly getting back to it or else I'm just going to fall behind and then it like things will start going out of print. And then that's where you're really in trouble because... If you're familiar with the BTS photo card market, it is out of this world, especially I feel like for DVD, DVD photo cards, like those are always, uh, depending on who you collect, obviously those are always really difficult to collect, especially if the item is no longer in print. So I'm hoping I don't fall too behind. <laughs> So this one I actually got is a Christmas present. Um, I think the person that got this for me got this from Coco, Coco Dive. Um, so assuming this is how it was packaged. I think these are freebies. Yeah, these are freebies, so. They added that. Oh, I think this one might be part of it, like the postcard for it, and then they added freebies, which is cute. It has been a while. It's been a minute since I have unboxed a uh, BTS anything. Ooh. I actually like these, like, what do you call these? Bookmark kind of things. Ooh, everything. it's so sticky. Oh yeah, so I think every every member has the same backing. Gosh, it makes me miss this this tour so much and just like this era in general so much. It was, I believe this happened right, like this tour happened right before the pandemic happened, so. And then it comes with, oh, the, this, this trifold postcards. Oh, that's nice. It shows like the whole thing. And just the DVD. The DVDs. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, so I forgot to mention um, who I collect. So I mostly collect Namjoon's photo cards, um, but I also collect Yoongi's and Jungkook's photo cards, but um, it was just like a recent thing along with me, you know, stepping back from collect BTS collecting for a while. Um, I also decided that I would just collect Namjoon exclusively just because it was getting really difficult and I had already fallen so behind so I didn't want to have to spend too much just to complete my collection. I mean if I see a good deal out there then obviously I'll go for it but um, for now I really just want to focus on Namjoon's photo cards. I think I'm caught up with his album photo cards but DVDs for sure I'm like a little bit behind. So another thing um, before I look who's in here is that the person that or there's actually two that I pulled the most or actually I want to say three. There's three that I pulled the most for BTS. Number one is Jimin two is Jin, and then the third one, um, every now and then I will pull Hobi. So I hardly get Taehyung or um, Jungkook. Like I, it's really rare. Oh, and Yoongi. Like it's really rare for me to pull them. Like if I pull them, it's like seeing a unicorn for the first time. So, oh, Hobi, speaking of Hobi. Okay, so I don't know if there were any discussions regarding like their photo cards, but like I noticed like the shape of their photo cards, like BTS's photo cards, and like how it feels is different than how it used to be. Like I feel like this is has a more like square look, if it makes sense. Like I don't know if anyone can tell. And then like, I don't know, it just feels thinner. So I don't know if they like changed distributors or something, but um, now that I'm like seeing a photo card after a while, a BTS photo card for a while, I feel like it feels different. So maybe one of these days, like, um, maybe one of these days, like I'll compare the old DVD photo cards with this one, which might be newer. I don't know, like, is it when they switch, maybe when they switch, like, their company or? I'm not really sure. I also don't know when this DVD came out. I feel like because this concert happened a while back, but like you would think they would have released this already or did they re-release this DVD? Like I have no idea. There's just so many like good memories associated with this like tour specifically. I mean, besides the fact that this was probably the last time I saw them before the pandemic happened. So. Like I remember seeing Jungkook fly for the first time. I think everybody was just like in shock. Couldn't even sing along anymore because the moment he lifted off from the stage, everybody kind of just was like going wild but also like is this really happening kind of thing I did get Namjoon's albums 
or like his album but like the different versions um but i am waiting for it because i my friend offered to have it shipped at her korean address so i wanted to save on shipping so he definitely i took her up on it so i'm just waiting for that one thing about bts is that they will have pictures for you for days like they are not they will not cheat you out of a good photo book they always have quality photos and they pretty much show you everything i feel like the photographer just gave them the entire file and whoever chooses the photos just like added everything <laughs> I miss them. Okay, so next I have Namjoon's photo folio. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm all, okay, I'm gonna take out the sleeve for a second just so it doesn't have that annoying reflection. so pretty he almost looks like a painting Okay, so I had no idea how like the photo cards for his um, photo folio looks like. So this is so cute. Okay, so again, talking about their photo cards, like this one feels like it's made out of um, recyclable material, which I think is awesome. I think new jeans for 
the their little purse album that had the same thing and i was shocked because i didn't think that the k-pop industry would ever turn to reusable recyclable materials so i think that's awesome in terms of quality um but yeah again like very different from like how fo their photo cards are produced before is there another one do we get two what what this is so cute oh my gosh I am a sucker for bookmarks. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, there's more! I'm literally getting like a surprise in every page. Can't really show it, but this is how it looks like. I don't know if anyone's familiar with this packaging, but this is from um, Mandu Deco. I won one of their raffles, so I won Jin's album. So, and that was a while back. I think that was before Thanksgiving. So I have been holding off on it until now and they have a little sticker it's Jungkook and they have the album how it looks and again like I said with BTS they will never cheat you out of a good photo book It's so cute. I'm gonna go look for the photo card first. Oh my god, there's a lot with this. Okay. Even though we know it's gin, which gin are we getting? So the lyrics. Oh, he got the stickers. And same as the poster, and then more stickers. These are so cute. And then for Jin, we have Suit Jin. <laughs> oh my gosh. A leather jacket moment. Oh, this is like a darker concept than what I had anticipated his album would be.
for my last album i have the seraphims album this is the midnight onyx um when i went to the my k-pop store for whatever reason their store did not have any signal at all and i was desperately trying to remember which version i wanted to buy i just remember it was like they were wearing mostly black so i figured midnight onyx onyx is like a darker color i'm hoping that's the concept that i bought Okay, so here it is. I love how this looks, like the minimalist kind of look to the front of the album. I'm all about that. I am kind of scared of white albums, um, just because there are they are more prone to getting dirty. But this is like really nice. I am a newer fan of La Seraphim, so if I mispronounce their name, <laughs> their group name, or any of the members' names, please forgive me. Like, I'm still trying to learn. Um, I Once I heard their full album, like, I just had it on repeat. Like, every song was just so good. It was so different. Every song was very different in terms of genre, yet was still very representative of the overall feel of or like theme of their album so that's what i really like which is why i decided to buy it okay so i'm guessing the photo card is in here so i'm gonna save that for last oh i think i bought the wrong version didn't i just based on this postcard or maybe i did because they're wearing black Okay, we'll see. And the CD is in here. Not a huge fan of like loose items, kind of like this. Um, oh, what are these? I'm gonna see if it's like a sticker or is it like a is it a sticker? Okay, it is a sticker. And the postcard, I mean the poster. Oh, sorry, this is, here we go. So, um, when I was watching a few of their performances, the the one who stood out to me the most was definitely her like she her stage presence is just amazing but all of them just as individuals like put together in this group they're all really really talented okay let's see who we got ah, i think she's the she's the youngest right I think she's the youngest. This is such a cute photo card. I love a good peace sign photo card. I don't see myself collecting um, their albums. Um, but we'll see because never say never. Okay, so it looks like I did get the right version which is like i remember seeing this when i looked it up online uh these are just so cool taiwan yeah she's the one that really caught my attention when i first saw them perform I like how they have like the lyrics within the pictures.
Yunjin. This is probably one of my favorite songs, Impurities. Kazuha. Oh, she gets a little cinema roll. That is so cute. And then there's thanks to my last couple of items are also from Mandu Deco. Um, well, before that, um, I bought these photo card binder sleeves. Um, these are, I believe, for the A5. I hope. It doesn't say on this description, but yeah, they're the A5, they fit the A5 binders. Um, so I am just waiting to get the binder. I usually have like the nine pocket ones, uh, um, but I wanted to make this switch to smaller ones. Um, I feel like they're less storage, but I, not that I think about it, I think it would be the same anyway, especially if you have multiple binders so i guess we'll see <laughs> got these for christmas as well but before christmas on thanksgiving i also got a bunch from their sale so i just have an abundance of their photo cards i use another brand's photo cards right now but they don't fit the photo cards exactly or i feel like the quality is a little bit flimsier and i've heard a lot about this brand so i decided to give them a try um and bought a bunch okay so this is the freebie photo card and they added a few like hollow sleeves um and then oh i got sana sticker oh they also gave me another one hold on i think this is felix from stray kids so yeah you get a free sticker with every purchase so that's cute um so I pretty much got the same stuff. I got the the purple um, the purple sleeves, which fits your um, your standard photo cards. And then I also bought the pink sleeves, which I think they said are. It can fit like a little bit slightly bigger photo cards, but also is good for double sleeving, which I don't currently do. I never really found the purpose of double sleeving, but I think the more photo cards you have, I think it's more beneficial to double sleeve. So that's why 
I decided to start. And then I also got the purple sleeves, the ones that have a purple background, um, just to try it out to see if it will look nice. <laughs> um, because all of my BTS photo cards are not sleeved, they're just in the in the binder sleeve so I decided I would go with the purple bag to start sleeving um, those photo cards so I'll save that for another video with that being said I will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching